Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Northwest Justice Project here talking today about the Social Justice Game Jam that we are hosting February 17th, 18th, and 19th. And we would love to have you as a participant in this awesome event. A game jam is an opportunity for individuals from diverse different areas to come together and find better ways to teach the law, better ways to empower our clients, opportunities to reach out and teach people about areas that have traditionally been taught in a very boring way. Game jams are an opportunity to experiment, to try new things, to work with professionals from several different fields. If you are an amateur coder or a professional, we need your help. If you're a composer, a graphic artist, a UX designer, we need your help for this project. It's a great way to work on your skills and build them while meeting other interesting people. They're really a cross-disciplinary collaboration where several different people work together on a team to tackle a particular project for a nonprofit organization, for a legal services organization that has a challenge or a problem. They are a lot of fun. They are very intense over an entire weekend, but at the end, you end up with a game. And by game, I mean game in the broadest possible sense. Think of your favorite card game, board game, or video game, and the opportunities that are there to use that enjoyable medium as a way to teach the law or to learn about the legal system. Game jams are a wonderful opportunity to work on your development skills, collaborate cross-disciplinarily, and create something that could have a life of its own, teaching hundreds or thousands of people about the law. Every year, 53% of low-income households in Washington state face at least one civil legal problem. Problems can range from lending to foreclosure to debt to domestic violence. In each of these situations, legal aid organizations are there to try to help people with their legal problems. But there's much more need than the number of lawyers that we have available. And this game jam is designed to create some resources for legal services organizations to help clients and to help unrepresented litigants. There's a lot of opportunity in this space. There are some wonderful games out there that we can look towards as examples of ways to create engaging and interesting, informative tools. Never Alone is one of those. The Poverty Simulator is another very interesting one that aspects of it could be built upon to create an interactive gaming experience. The School to Prison Pipeline was recently explored in the Team Child Hackathon, and there are opportunities to create educational resources there. And many of us are plagued by crippling debt. Think about a debt quest, an adventure, where you start with a large amount of debt, and you challenge it, pay it off, put together a budget, deal with unfair debt collection, get rid of unfair fees. The opportunities here are endless. We need your help to take these ideas and others and turn them into educational games. The Game Jam is happening February 17th, 18th, and 19th at the Living Computers Museum and Lab. Registration is available on Eventbrite, and we've got an event page over on Facebook. Thank you to our sponsors, who include Northwest Justice Project, Oculus, Unity 3D, University of Washington Law School, and the Living Computer Museum and Lab. I hope to see you all in February. This has been Brian Rowe with Northwest Justice Project.